there's bad brujas and there's good brujas. Just the way there's darkness, there's always gonna be lightness. And you could be either of that, but all of us, in a sense, we're all brujas. I'm Natalie Parfan and I'm Ecuadorian American. I'm Cindy Rodriguez and I'm Peruvian American. And we're the Brujas Morado Land. In a nutshell, we cover spirituality, sex, and culture. Morado is purple in Spanish. You know, Morado means spirituality, it means magical, it means power, it means royalty, it means feminine, divine. Well, I met Nat in um, kindergarten, mm -hmm. and then we came back together. It was like time didn't even pass. We couldn't shut up, so this was it. This is It's either gonna be a podcast or we're gonna have no excuse for us talking so much. Uh, we started this podcast because we did not see ourselves in the podcast world, so instead of complaining or being frustrated, we're like, let's just launch our own. Three, two, one. This is Matt. And this is Cindy. And this is Morado Lens, a feminist podcast hosted by two childhood friends who discuss embracing our inner bruja, sex, and culture. Always funny, always real. And today we have a very special guest in person, in the house with her good vibes, oh. Ada Rojas. Hola. My mom was a real bruja and she did practice santeria and she did live spirits and she read the tarot and brujas what they are they're healers they're curanderas back in the day before we were even born brujas were in essence the the midwives the doulas the nurses and a lot of them were peasant women who take took care of the community through herbs and natural functions and our goal still remains to make sure that that bruja continues to understand that if you're a bruja, that means you're an empowered woman. That's a beautiful word, actually. So we wanted to kind of not only redefine it, and, but take it back. If it's scary and we're excited and we're a little bit embarrassed to share, that's the right episode to put out there. <laughs>